The Electoral Commission says it is awaiting the appropriate constitutional amendment to confirm November 7th as the date for the general elections, even before Parliament could pass the bill into law. So you go. Very early this year, we put out a tentative timetable in which we indicated that the elections this year will be conducted on 7th um, November. And so all our activities are timed with 7th November remind. So insofar as the commission is concerned, um, we are on course. Uh, we are following our program and timetable. And we believe that should the laws be amended, the relevant law be amended in time, we'll be able to hold the elections on 7th November. It is whether it is amended or not amended at all, because um, so far, according to our program and timetable, we are working towards November 7th. And so if it is amended, even around August or September, we will still be able to hold the elections on 7th November. But if it is not amended, then there will be no basis for us to uh, hold parliamentary elections on 7th November because the law as it stands now uh, does not allow us to conduct uh, parliamentary elections before 7th December. So if uh, parliament is not able to amend the particular provision, then it will be impossible for us to hold the elections on 7th November when we ask for proposals for electoral reforms. And I think it's one of the proposals that feature prominently in nearly all the proposals that we received. And um, those who make the proposal uh, consider the transition arrangement and they think that if you hold the elections on 7th December, there is very little time for transition arrangements to be made especially if there has to be a runoff, then you have only a few days to transition. And so um, it was agreed generally at the electoral reforms level and at the commission level and IPAC level that um, if the elections are brought to 7th November, it will serve a very useful purpose. But we don't have the capacity and the mandate